I have the Google Pixel 6 right here. And as you can see, the device has been rooted with the latest version of Majisk. Now, generally speaking, it is considered more difficult to install an over-the-air update on a smartphone or tablet that has had its system files modified. But there's almost always a reliable method of doing so, but it just isn't as simple as tapping an install button and then waiting for the device to reboot. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how I install over-the-air updates on the Google Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro, even though I have already rooted the, the device and I have installed Majisk. Not only that, but this method will not erase any of your user data, nor will it require you to manually flash the Majisk binaries via Fastboot. You can see that right here I have the base model of the Pixel 6 and it currently has the January security update installed on it. Google has just released the February over the air update. So I can show you how I update this device today using February's security update as an example. Whether you receive the over the air update notification or you just know that an update is waiting for you. The first thing we need to do is actually go into the Majisk application. And then we're going to select the uninstall Majisk option. And right here we're going to select the restore images. And we're going to wait for the restoration done message at the bottom. Now once that is done, we can then go into the settings application and install that new over-the-air update. Now we're gonna wait for the device to download the update, install it to our inactive partition slot, and then it's gonna go through the optimizing apps uh, section. These are all things that we normally do whenever we install an over-the-air update. So other than uninstalling and restoring the images in Majisk, there's nothing new or unique to this process so far. Now the amount of time this takes to complete will generally depend on how big the over-the-air update is. So not only do, again, not only do we have to download and install the update, we also have to wait for the optimizing part, and that can take a long time if you have a lot of applications installed. But even if you have a bare device like mine, it's going to take some time. The main thing that you need to remember is that we need to refuse the reboot device option when this whole process completes. When the Pixel 6 finishes installing that over-the-air update, it's going to offer a reboot option and it will likely instruct you to reboot the device to complete the installation. This is where we refuse and instead we're going to go back into that Majisk app to install the Majisk binaries to that inactive slot. If anyone is new to owning a Pixel or an Android phone, with the Pixel 6, just know that this process does take a lot of time, even though it is only a 27 megabyte update. Again, this optimizing device part takes a long time. Usually all of this is done in the background, but I know when people are actively updating their device while rooted, a lot of people seem to sit and watch this screen. And this has been at least 10 minutes so far. But again, we're just gonna be patient wait for this process to complete, and then we can finish it up with the Majisk app. So as the update has finished optimizing the apps, again, we're gonna get that restart now button at the bottom, but we're going to ignore this. We're gonna just minimize it. We're gonna go back to our Majisk application, and now we're gonna tap the install button. With the method, we're gonna choose the install to inactive partition. 
and this gives us a little warning telling us that our device will be forced to boot to the current inactive partition after a reboot, and that we should only do this option after an over-the-air update is done, which we just saw has been completed. So we're going to tap on OK, and then tap Let's Go. Now Majestic is going to give us a rundown of what is happening right now. You can see it's targeting a certain slot. It is installing 24.1 because that's what's currently installed. It's patching the RAM disk, repackaging it, and flashing the new boot images. Once we get that all done message, we can now tap that reboot button and wait for our Google Pixel 6 to reboot. This boot cycle back up into Android is going to be just like normal. It's going to be just as if we installed an over-the-air update through the built-in updater. But since we took those extra steps to first restore images and then install Magist to the inactive slot, not only are we going to retain all of our user data, all of the apps, games, pictures, videos that we had on our device before, but we're also going to retain root access with Magisk still being installed. So you can see we're booting back into Android like normal. Our applications are still here. We can see Magisk is installed. We have a root checker app to double check. We are still rooted. And we are now on the February security update. So that wraps up this video on how to install a new over the air security update on the Google Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro while you are rooted with Magisk and while both keeping and maintaining root access as well.